this is very very important if you're going to be doing um, video SEO this I found this to be incredibly effective and it's something that I don't understand why people just don't teach this anywhere and it's just so um, logical so much common sense in my opinion so I'm gonna click over to Creator Studio and we'll go to video manager and now this is the semantic mastery channel so I don't have a lot of marketing videos in here like nothing that I was really trying to rank um, some of them have ranked anyways believe it or not but um, the, the point is is that when you have the videos especially like if you're doing local stuff you're gonna wanna put them into um, just like you would on a web on the website with a category or your top level silo like you guys have seen the way that I've build the sites out with um, the geographic regions right I start always with the top level silo is going to be the county and then we break it down into city pages and so from the top level silo page we have links that go down to each one of the city pages and then from each city page we link back up to the county page right and that's how we do that with the silo well that it's, it creates so much thematic relevance that it's just so powerful and you can do the same thing with YouTube so for example, if you're going to be ranking for, let's say, let's just use plumbers because that's a good example we always use. Let's say you're ranking for a plumber, you're doing SEO for a plumber in whatever city, and he wants to rank for multiple cities within that county. Well, create a county playlist. Make sure that after every time you upload the video to YouTube or you do a hangout or a live event, whichever one it is, that you link back up within the video description, you link back up to that playlist. Okay, so you just paste the playlist URL in there. Let me give you some examples here. I want to show you what um what I'm talking about with this because this is actually very important and it works like crazy because what's funny is you'll end up ranking the playlist too. Believe it or not, that's rankable. We were going to go through this on uh, step four of the notes today, but um, we'll kind of briefly go over this here because I want you guys to see this. This site is um, near, it's about 80% done. If we link over to the Fairfax County page, this is now the top of the silo, right? And if you look down here, we've got all the cities. And, and I know we're talking about video SEO, but I can show you with this, and then uh, it's pretty much the same concept. If you take a look at the URL, this is Fairfax County. And then we've got all of these cities, which are, I believe there's 23 of them, or 21 of them. Each one of these are cities within the county. And if we click on any one of them, let's click on Vienna, for example, it's going to bring us down into that, that, that uh, you can see it in the URL structure. And then down at the bottom of the article, I've got a link back. And see, that whole entire sentence right there is the anchor text. It's not keyword specific. And I did that for a reason, because Panda 4.0, actually, you can get in trouble if you, um, even with internal linking, if your anchor text is too targeted. So I, I just did that because that's what you call nested. But th the same thing you can do with YouTube. This links back up. So if I click on this, it's going to take me right back up to the Fairfax County page. So the point is, is that on the silo landing page, you're linking to all of the the child pages, right? So all of the subordinate pages. But then from the subordinate page, you rank back, you link back up to the top. We do the same thing in YouTube. So for example, if I go over here and go to, I didn't mean to click live events, but if I go to playlists and I create new, so I'll, I'll create a new one and we'll just use what we're working on here for plumbers. So I'll say Fairfax County uh, Plumbing Services. Create. Okay, so now I've got a playlist here of which I can add videos. So now let's say I've, I want to go ahead and add a video that I just created for Vienna, Vienna Plumber, okay, or Plumber Vienna VA because that's how most people search, right? Plumber Reston, Plumber Falls Church. I can add each one of those URLs into this playlist, okay, and then what I do is I go to here, go to, oops, let me cancel out of that, go to the playlist settings, go to share, copy this URL, and paste this URL in the video description. In fact, you can have that video URL, the playlist URL, created with no videos at all before you even upload any videos to YouTube. So my point is, is that when you go to upload the video, you paste this playlist URL in the video description. You see what I'm saying? So now, every single time you upload a new video to YouTube, you're automatically linking to the silo, la the, the silo landing page, which in this case is the playlist. So let me go back, because I want to show you what it looks like, why we do that. If we go back to the playlist and we take a look at, there's a couple ways to do this. If we look at just the share URL, for example, if I grab the share URL and I'll open this up in another tab. In fact, I'll open up uh, Firefox so that it's clean and you can see it there. All right, so we're going to paste this playlist URL in. 
And so this is essentially an index page, right? This is an index page for the silo for the um, for the playlist, all right? So now you've got look at these every single one of these links here. These are live links. So what do you do? You backlink the hell out of this this playlist URL, right? So now if you've got corresponding pages on on a site that you're ranking for client. Now I know we're talking about just video SEO here, but this is how you can use the power of the playlist to help you rank the pages too on a corresponding site. Now check this out. Okay, let's say for example, um, and, I, and I wish I had a plumbing video that I could show you. Uh, but if 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 you have a video for each page of the county or for the city as well, so you've got basically a matching video for a matching page on the site. What you want to do then is you want to click on that specific video title to start the playlist there. Now watch this. If I pause that and I grab this share URL, this share URL here now is what I would link to. Uh, I would actually create the, I would actually embed this is what I would do. I would grab the embed code and embed the whole entire playlist on the site for this specific. So let's just use this as an example. Let's say this was rest in Virginia right here, the, the plumbing. Rest in Virginia, okay? And this was the Rest in Virginia video in the full playlist that had 21 other videos in it, right, for Fairfax County? Well, by opening that video up in the playlist and in grabbing the embed code and in embedding that code, the Rest in video will be on the Rest in page, but it will also have the entire playlist. It will open up in this playlist player. So what? why is that powerful? Because look at this. It's got another link to the playlist here. It's also got a link to the channel here. That's a live link, right? So you're basically pushing all of the authority from Google, from, from YouTube, into your site and vice versa back. And it's creating a loop. And that's kind of what we do with silo linking anyways, right? So do you guys understand what I'm saying? So for example, if, if this was the Rustin video, I embed the video player from here, from this, it's going to automatically on, on this on that page, when somebody clicks the playlist, it's going to start on the rest in video. So then if we go to, let's say, the um, the Vienna video, the Vienna page, we start the Vienna video and then grab, pause it, grab the embed code, then it will start on the Vienna video. Does that make sense? So it's a way that you can set it up. But instead of just having one individual video on every page, you got the full playlist along with the link to the playlist itself plus a link to the channel, which remember the channel is the only place in YouTube that you get a do follow link. You guys know that, right? The only place that you get a do follow link within YouTube is on the channel page, which would be right here. Very, very powerful. So that's why, and then that's why you also build links to your channel page in case you guys didn't know that because you can build your page authority here.